Steve McQueen is born on March 24, 1930, in the Beech Grove neighborhood of Indianapolis, Indiana. His father, William McQueen, leaves him and his mother, Julianne, early on, and the two never marry. Julianne struggles with alcoholism and eventually sends Steve to live with his great-granduncle Claude on a farm in Missouri. During this time, his mother rarely visits. At age 12, McQueen reunites with his mother after she remarries, and they move to Los Angeles, California. Unfortunately, life with his stepfather becomes abusive, leading Steve to get involved with street gangs and petty crime. He is sent to reform school for stealing car parts, but after multiple escape attempts, he settles down through counseling. In 1946, McQueen joins the Merchant Marines, serving aboard the SS Alpha. Following his service, he roams the U.S., working odd jobs like carnival work and oil rigging. In 1947, McQueen enlists in the U.S. Marine Corps, but his rebellious nature lands him in the brig for 41 days after an unauthorized absence and resisting arrest. He is discharged in 1950. Later, McQueen moves to New York City, where he spends time in the Bohemian Greenwich Village. With the help of the GI Bill, he enrolls in the Neighborhood Playhouse Acting School and within a few years studies at the Actors Studio under Lee Strasberg. His acting career begins to take shape in 1956 with a role in the Broadway play A Hatful of Rain and a part in the film Somebody Up There Likes Me. In 1958, McQueen's breakthrough role comes in The Blob, followed by his role as a bounty hunter in the TV series Wanted Dead or Alive. Around this time, his passion for motorsports, particularly motorcycle racing, takes off. By the early 1960s, McQueen rises to stardom with roles in The Magnificent Seven, 1960, and The Great Escape, 1963. He continues to cement his status as a major star with films like The Cincinnati Kid, 1965, Nevada Smith, 1966, and an Academy Award nomination for The Sand Pebbles, 1966. His most iconic role, however, comes in 1968 with Bullet, which is famous for its thrilling car chase scene. Throughout the 1970s, McQueen remains a leading man, starring in films like Junior Bonner, 1972, The Getaway, 1972, and Papillon, 1973. His professional rivalry with Paul Newman reaches its peak in The Towering Inferno, 1974, where the two share top billing. Despite his successful career, McQueen's personal life is troubled. After his separation from Neil Adams, with whom he has two children, he embarks on a relationship with actress Ally McGraw, marrying her in 1973. Their relationship ends in divorce in 1978. Around the same time, McQueen starts developing serious respiratory issues, and by 1979, he is diagnosed with mesothelioma, a type of cancer linked to asbestos exposure. McQueen completes his final two films, Tom Horn and The Hunter, both released in 1980. He spends his last months seeking alternative treatments in Mexico, but passes away on November 7, 1980, at the age of 50. His ashes are scattered in the Pacific Ocean, Many believe McQueen's asbestos exposure stems from his time in the Marines when he cleaned asbestos from pipes on Navy ships or from other jobs he held prior to acting. Steve McQueen undergoes a three-hour surgery in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, on November 7, 1980, as part of an effort to treat his cancer. Following the procedure, he remains in a positive state of mind, speaking coherently. At one point, he utters the words, Lo hice, which translates to, I did it in Spanish. However, shortly after this, while resting, McQueen's heart fails, and he passes away peacefully in his sleep without saying anything else.